In this video, we're going to look at how we can fix these pesky spelling mistakes that Dali3 generates with its images. And all credit to my friend Jen Furukawa, who shared this tutorial the other day, saves me so much time and I wanted to share it with you all. And so I've got an image here that I created using Dali. Is Google Docs <laughs> the ultimate prompt? It's supposed to be library for organizations. Now, it's so close. And what you can do is download that file, upload it into Canva, select it, click edit photo, and then grab text. And what Canva does is it scans through this image, identifying what the text is, and then makes it editable. So we can fix these little spelling mistakes. So here you can see, is Google Docs? We're simply gonna take off one of the C's, the ultimate prompt, P-R-O-M-P-T library and it's missing four organizations so we just got to make that a bit smaller so that it all fits there and done that is fixed this problem we can now simply go to share and download it in whatever format that we would like but just such an effective way to fix these little spelling mistakes that Dali creates especially when it's just so so close so Thank you, Jen. I hope you found value in this video as well. It's definitely helped me. As always, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, look forward to seeing you in the next video.